So first one is how's India shown in your country's media? Is it shown in a in a positive way, in a negative way? I would say it's not often shown in media, but if it's shown in media, it's like they show in TV what's the food and sometimes there are documentaries about bad conditions in India. Bad, uh huh. Yeah, and some talk really bad about India because some say that there are a lot of rapists. Uh, Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Yeah, <laughs> Bollywood. About Indian culture, um, I mostly recon recognize Bollywood. Yeah, and and the good food. Yeah, great. Oh, what's this? Uh, Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, well, I know. I think everyone knows about like cows are holy and they are on the streets. Yeah. I think that. I mean, that's what I know. Uh, they show us like it's a poor land uh, with no money. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, are you surprised to hear these answers? You shouldn't be. I have personally interviewed hundreds of people abroad and almost none of them knew about India's IT, pharma or ISRO. India's image abroad is still very stereotyped and unfortunately many of those stereotypes are negative. A 2017 survey showed that the majority of people in nations like France and Brazil felt that India's influence around the globe is mostly negative. And a recent survey from a British market research and data analytics firm, YouGov, also revealed how in various Western nations, people have a negative attitude towards Made in India vaccines and have a feeling that India has a negative effect on world affairs. Yes, just like many other countries, India has many problems. And yes, India's priority should be to work on fixing its problems without any delay. And yes, it will help India, but despite that, the problem is that India's global image is far worse than what the country really is, and it's not very reflective of what the real India is about. So who is responsible for this? Is it the negative stereotyping or the not-so-balanced coverage by the media outlets of the former colonial powers? Is it India's poor use of its soft power and the failure of the Indian government bodies who are responsible for India's image abroad? And please tell me how this negative image is helping India. Yes, constructive good-hearted criticism is always welcome, but does this stereotypical image of India help Indians in trade and tourism opportunities? Does this help India in getting more international students, a factor that is important for India to attract global talent and improve its university rankings? No, of course, not at all. Instead, it is hurting India in so many ways. It doesn't just hurt India's trade and tourism opportunities, but it also influences how Indians are perceived abroad and can even contribute to hate crimes or various racist slurs that are used against Indians. And yes, India needs to learn how to do the right packaging and branding, as without it, no matter what India achieves, it will always underperform. On the other hand, the former colonial powers need to stop the negative stereotyping of the formerly colonized nations and allow them to recover and regain their lost identities. To understand how cleverly Western nations do their branding and packaging, despite all their horrible problems and shortcomings that they have, watch these two episodes that are recommended on the top right corner of your screen. There is something else that I want to say. I worked and researched for months to produce the 12th episode of the Should India Follow the West Blindly series and I have already uploaded the episode, but it was not even shown to our subscribers, many of whom are waiting so keenly for this episode. Why? So please, watch that episode, consider contributing to our work financially, and also one more thing, please let us know if anyone is plagiarizing or translating our work because it is not allowed. See you again.